Welcome to Numismatics Anonymous Mail Call. As Junior said, this is Numismatics Anonymous, and we are here with a mail call. This is a fun, random video that we're going to do for you guys. What happened was we were cruising out on eBay, minding our own business, bothering no one, and uh, I, I searched for 50 cello. I was just looking to see if somebody had a lot of, I was hoping cellophane scents uh, from mint sets, uncirculated mint sets, and what popped up was this listing that had 50 cello coins, but it was mixed, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and the seller claimed that it was over $5 face, but was kind of vague about what was in this grab bag. So I don't know if any of you have kids out there, but when you go to Walmart and you see a Thomas the Train or a Princess something or other Barbie blind bag, blind bag for the kids, this is a numismatic blind bag. That's what this is. So anyway, uh, because I don't, I don't, I normally don't like to talk about prices and values because that's not what we're doing here. We're not trying to value things. But what was really fun about this auction was that even after shipping, shipped to our house, this was $6.25. And they claimed that it was over $5 in cellophane-wrapped mint coin. So that's going to be part of the fun, seeing how close to the six twenty-five we got. So let's open this, Junior. Let's see what we have. All right, there's the coin. I'm going to... Tuck away the little invoice I see there. A quarter on the end. He sees quarters. In the the one photo that I saw, uh, I think I counted at least twelve quarters, which would account for at least three dollars of the advertised five dollar face value. There's a lot of stuff. A coin. Here. Yeah, he wrapped it nice and tight. This is a fifty coin deck? We were yep, fifty coins. We were kidding about how the seller would probably have been better off opening all of these and going to buy a cheeseburger because he spent over, not over, about $4 in shipping costs. You just closed it. I closed it. It was already open. <laughs> Sorry. Just I'm dump them. The first just one. dump them. You don't have to pull them. There we go. Great. Okay, so, so here we go, guys. I'm going to see what this first one is. Do you want to help me sort them? This is a 1979. 1979. Here's a 1978. So, uh, if you guys have ever seen mint sets, the um, the blue ones, the ones with the blue lines, are for Philadelphia, and the ones with the red lines are from a Denver set. So let's let's just divvy these up. What's this one from? If it's blue, it's Philadelphia. Okay. So we'll put all the quarters in a, in a stack. Let's do them by denomination. This is and then. Red. That'll be, no, not not color pile. That'll be nickels. And oh. we can do dimes. Nickels. There's nickel. We'll do pennies right over here. Nickel. Hey, cool. That's a nice, um, one of those special uh, 2004 nickels. That is the, what do they call that one? Louisiana Purchase. Looks good. Dime. Found a dime right over here. This can be the dime corner. Just grab a handful and sort those out. Whatever you gotta do, Junior. We're coin separating. We are like a coin separating machine at the bank. Oops, I'm putting dimes in the nickel pile. <laughs> My mistake. Okay, so count me the quarters. Okay. How many quarters? Uh, 16. 16? Yep. That's $4. So <laughs> we're already with dimes and quarters. We're at 650. <laughs> All right. 
right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How many did you find? 17. 17 cents? All right. So we'll do some quick math here. <laughs> oh, wait. Seven. Oh, five. Oh, five and nine. Sorry, I messed up my math here. That's. So $6.57 face value. I would say we won on that one, even if we uh, weren't numismas, numisma, numismatists. <laughs> so let's take a look at what we have. Okay. What do you want to look at first? I want to look at this quarter. The quarters? Let's look at all the quarters, not just the one. Oh, I found a D. It's okay. 20, I mean, it's 1978. So we got a 77. It's a 78. You found a 78? Yep. 87? I'll show yours that you're interested in showing, Junior. You want to do it? Go ahead. All right. Let me help you center it. There it goes. 78. All right. 74. So we're getting a lot of nice 1970s. 79. These are good years because, um, not because they're terribly valuable, but because they are really tough to find in circulation in good condition like this. 74. 77. Here's an early one. 70. Can't tell if that's this coloring on the cellophane. No, it looks like it's on the quarter. That's some ugly color. Hey, that 72 is nice. Ooh, there's a more modern one. 96. Things glittering. 78. 79. 78. Found a lot of 78s in here. It's a nice 80. And 98. That was the final year for Washington with the Eagle on the back. Dimes. Let's see what kind of year range we have here. This is a 1979. 77. 70. 80. 04. It's very new. Something about the mint sets on these newer ones is that the plastic's a lot thicker and stiffer. 79. 96. Much more hefty again. 78. 78. 74, 87, 74, 77, 80, 96, Nichols, 78, I kind of like the color on this one. It's kind of coming through bronzy in person. I'm not sure if you could see that on the camera. 78, 72, there's the 04 that we spotted earlier. 87, 
77, 74. And as you can see, these are all business strikes, 78. These are not uh, proofs. P, 70, S, is that a 70S? Again, though, that's that really ugly color we saw on the, on the uh, quarter as well. 77B, 89. So what might be fun on these is to go through and see if there's any years that are particularly valuable or have scarce high grades and... See if we have anything cool, like a full steps nickel on a year that's impossible to get full steps. It's an 80. It's a 74. 79. 79. So overall, I'm really pleased with the date ranges that we're doing here. I expect to see a lot of copper cents, given the uh, amount of 1970s we were seeing in the other batches. It's a 96. 77, an 80, a lot of these might be upgrades in our albums, our dance goes, 74, that thing is, that's, that thing is beautiful, 77 is very clean, very nice, but it's starting to fade on its color a little bit, 79, 04, 74, S, yeah, S, 74 mm -hmm. S, that's cool, 98, yeah, this one's ugly, well, maybe not ugly, but it's got some purplish toning on it, it's a 78, and it's lost a lot of its redness. There's a 78 Denver. It's very nice. 1990. Wow, that thing is beautiful. <clears throat> 1980. 1970s. I'm going to have to look closer. Some of you might be screaming at me saying, oh, that's a large day, dream on. And I'm thinking I need to look at that a little closer and see if we got a large or a small date. It's a 70. 1978 Denver. And last but not least, a gorgeous 79 Denver. So that's it, guys. That was the adult grab bag. Um... I hope you enjoyed that. That cost us six twenty-five, and we've got six dollars and fifty-seven cents on our uh, little sheet here to do the math. So you do the math. Tell me if we won on that one, folks. We will see you in the next video. Say bye, Junior. Bye. Happy hunting. Look for deals like this. You never know when you're going to trip over some random lot like this that makes all the sense in the world. See you next time. Happy hunting.